Lochi, a 1-1 draw here at Dagenham Redbridge. Just give me your thoughts on the game. Um, I think it was, a, it was a tough game. They started off bright. I mean, they, they were 10 unbeaten before today, obviously 11 now. and um, you know, they're, they're a good side, they're well organised, um, full of physical, you know, big men. And um, I think we did our job. Obviously, we'd like to try and play. And I think we have to do the nitty gritty today. Um, I think the attitude to get straight back into the game after going one down, you know, was credit to us. We didn't, we didn't give up. We so were close to half time. We went in there and I think that made a big difference. And then second half, I think we actually controlled the game. OK, they might have been happy to sit in and, you know, make us try and break them down. But they're, they're a good side, they're organised. But on the road, you take a point. And after a good 4-0 win Tuesday night and then to fall behind and get back into this one, it must uh, give you a lot of belief going into Tuesday. Yeah, 100%. I mean, we had a couple of games where we fell behind and then within five minutes we were behind again. But I think what we've done, we've learnt from that and stuck to the task and just kept doing our jobs because, you know, there's still a lot of time left. Um, I thought we were organised. I, I thought the back three were immense again. Um, you know, they had a few chances first half, but I think second half I can't remember really touching the ball. So that's credit to the boys in front of me. So... You know, hopefully we can keep growing and keep continuing uh, moving forward. It's obviously been a massive boost to have Dan Sweeney in the back three. How's that for you as a keeper playing behind those three centre-backs? Great, I mean, I'll say this, I don't know how them three, no disrespect to this league, he's, them, them three for me are, are League One defenders. I've played at that level, like, they've all got so, so much ability on the ball and off the ball and, and they're all big grown men as well, you know, they're not just like nimble and, and slight, they're, they're all big physical boys who can play and, you know, it's, it's enjoyable playing behind them. Um, enjoyable playing in the whole team so I think we've got some good lads throughout the team but for the back three have uh, been brilliant since they've been together. After the little bleak, plat, uh, bleak patch rather um, there seems to be a really good bounce back ability at the side um, just what's the mood like in the camp now? Well, the mood's great it's, um, it's, it's a really good enjoyable change room it's a laugh every day obviously when we're on the pitch we, we take things seriously but I think the gaffer makes that atmosphere you know I think he's He's kind of like one of the lads in and around the place, but you know when you get on the pitch, you, you have to do what you're told and you, and you do your job, otherwise you, you, don't, you don't play. Um, it's, it's a great environment to be in. Um, like I said, there's, there's 30, what, 30 games left, 32, whatever games left. There's going to be ups and downs, but I've said all along this league is consistency. If we lose one or two, you've got to bounce back, you've got to go and get results out like the next two or three, which we've done. So hopefully we can continue doing that. And just lastly, really good away following today by the B Army. Uh, just how helpful was their support and... How keen are you to have them at the Hive on Tuesday night to get behind the boys? Yeah, brilliant. You know, it's in a ground like this, no disrespect to Dagenham, it's a lovely little setup. But when, when the when the uh, stadium got the biggest, if you if you can bring in more fans, you can almost kind of take it into turn it into a home atmosphere for you. And I thought they were brilliant today. They cheered the lads on. They were loud. You know, I think they outsung the Dagenham fans. No disrespect to Dagenham. I think if you look behind the goal, we definitely had more fans um, at, at this end. And I thought. Um, you know, they connect as a 12th man. You know, I've been in this league a few times now where you go to the small places and sometimes you've got to create your own atmosphere. Obviously, we've got to give them something to cheer about, which I think the boys did today.